If you've ever wanted to learn some survival skills, this is your opportunity to sign up. Lisa Hoffman is back, of course, from Audubon State Park. Good to see you. You too. So survival skills, I'm really intrigued. I'm gonna, I won't get us out of the order. We'll start here. We'll start with your art <laughs> exhibit, then we'll go to survival skills. That's fine. Um, yeah, if you haven't been to the museum lately, there are two exhibits up through March. Uh, within the wild is nature photography from six tri-state photographers. Some awesome pictures. Uh, it's amazing. You need to see that. And there's a solo exhibition of oil paintings also um, being shown in the front foyer of the museum by local painter Terry Roan. Um, so a lot of those artworks are for sale. If you feel like you want to take them home, you certainly can. Um, they'll be up through March, and you can see them during our usual 10 to 5 hours. And I think it's really good to remind people that, you know, besides all the outdoor things you have there, you have this wonderful art, we really, do. program going all the time. Yes, we do. Um, we have art and nature opportunities All together. There, so, oh. yes. So now we can talk about survival. We I was can. A, a survival <laughs> skills. I was a little intrigued by that. Yeah, it's one of our popular things to do in the early spring. Um, we have a survival skills for youth age 10 to 16. That'll be March 11th from noon to 3. Uh, the cost is $15. And then this, uh, there's a second workshop March 25th from noon to 2.30. And that's for the little kids ages 6 to 9. Uh, we teach uh, in both of those workshops, you know, hike preparedness, some basic survival information. What do you do if you know you're lost? Uh, can you construct a shelter? Uh, things like that that would be really helpful to know to get you through the hours that it might take for someone to find you. We're going to start a fire. Uh, Are we the gonna older kids, sticks together. The older kids do. Do they really? Yeah, okay. we have fire okay. building as part of that. So uh, you do need to pre-register with me for that. So just um, give me a call at the museum and I can get you on the list. And how long is the, class, is the program? Um, it's from noon to 3 o'clock for the older kids, noon to 2.30. Okay, so it's going to be some really substantive yeah. stuff in there. Yeah, just all right, well, You know, we talk about hiking over there all of the time, and you have this wonderful end of winter I program. Know, it, I love that. It's, it's strange to be talking about all March programming, but it's coming up fast. And um, March 21st, I think, is actually the first day of spring. So we are going to have an end of winter hike. Um, that's going to be Saturday, March 18th at 10 o'clock. And we're just going to look around to see if nature's kind of anticipating spring as much as we are. <laughs> as so we are. Yes, there's always some are. signs out there that we can look around and, and see and uh, kind of talk about what that means. Um, we'll just meet there at um, the Warbler Road Trailhead, and it's free to join in. Um, How far is it, Lisa? Probably about a mile. Oh, that's not bad. So just wear some sturdy shoes. We have hilly trails, of course. Yes, you so. do. <laughs> and for folks who maybe can't make that, but they want to do some trail riding or trail walking, you have maps around there. We do. You, you can, can get maps at the office or at the museum building. Okay, pollinator power. I was, that's hard to say. It, it is a little hard to say. Um, pollinator power hour. Um, populations of our pollinators are in decline throughout the U.S., and, you know, there's some efforts to preserve and enhance the critical habitats that kind of help restore their power, if you will, um, and help those species survive and thrive. So we've actually got a little program going on Saturday, March 18th, um, where you can learn how you can conserve your native bees and um, butterflies and other pollinators. Um, I'm going to pre be presenting something at 1.30 uh, called Wildflowers Are Pollinator Airports. <laughs> Has a little bit to do with um, bug vision, if you will. And then uh, People for Pollinators is being presented by University of Evansville student. And um, that's going to be about planting the seeds of change at 2 o'clock. And I believe they're actually bringing some items for raffling and giving away. So it's going to be a nice little hour to, to learn what you can do for our pollinators. And important, too. Thank you, Lisa. Yes, thank you. We'll be back with more Local Lifestyles right after this. Stick around.